What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Rich Secrets. And as you guys can see, we got a good subject to hop on today. We're gonna to be talking about exactly on why you guys should double your prices this year and going on, okay? Now, a lot of people are in different industries, whether it's a trucking industry, Airbnb, uh, you whether you're selling your own product, service, anything like that. We're gonna, we're gonna take all business people and put them in the same category and tell you exactly on why you guys should double your prices this year all right this year now before we go ahead and get started with the video make sure y'all go ahead and like and subscribe that way you'll be updated every time your boy drop a fire video all right let's get to it all right so the number one thing on why i say you guys should double your prices this year a lot of people usually when they're starting their business and i understand a startup business when somebody first starting their business and they're getting everything organized and they feel like they really they're, 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 the, the value of what they're providing is not it's not worth it's not worth more than it actually is if that makes sense it's not worth more than it actually is right and for us as entrepreneurs and business owners we have to be able to believe in our product more than anybody else our product service whatever we are providing we have to be able to believe in it more than anybody because if I don't believe in my product or service and I'm trying to sell it to you right how are you going to believe in my product or service if I don't or how am I going to even give you that energy on, on on I believe in my product if I really don't so uh the first thing is I feel like when it comes to new bitch, uh, uh, business owners and they're first starting their business out I, I'm not saying double your prices if you're not all the way organized all right if you if you are still putting pieces together to your arsenal all right I'm not saying just go double your prices stick with me to the end of this video you'll know exactly what I mean okay I just want to touch on that subject first that the simple fact that even me right I'm I'm I'm, I'm definitely um, um what's your what's that word guilty all right I just use guilty I'm definitely guilty of downsizing myself, right? And I was a business owner and entrepreneur that had a product and service. And with that product and service, I was providing a lot, but I didn't fully believe in my product or service, right? So how could I sell it to somebody else? Nobody else believed in my product or service. Nobody was buying it because the simple fact, I didn't believe it in myself, right? And because I didn't believe it in myself, it was a lot of things that happened. I didn't get sales, right? I wasn't able to boost the price up on my on, on my products or service simply because I didn't think I had a, a product worth selling, right? Or a service worth giving. So, uh, uh, and at that point, I actually did. I actually had a product and service that would actually solve a problem for many people. But like I said, the main thing that we deal with with entrepreneurs is that the simple fact is that we think that our price is the cheapest prices, right? The cheapest prices are not the best prices and the best prices are not the cheapest prices. All right? Did y'all hear what I said on that one? Because the simple fact, when it comes to that, right? The cheapest prices are not the best prices and the best prices are not the cheap, cheapest prices. If you want the best, you have to pay for the best, right? If you believe you're the best, then you are charging the best prices. All right? And by best prices, I don't mean discounted prices. All right? I understand that when we discount and when we when we uh when we discount our price on our product or service that it may attract more people but see this is the thing that most people don't realize the people that that attract is not the people you usually want inside of your company or not the customer you typically want what do you mean by that kai well usually when you deal with low tier customers you'll hear a lot of businesses say that Oh, this customer is complaining. I'm constantly dealing with this and this customer complaining, and this customer complaining. Now we have to hop on the phone with this customer and clear this issue. And now they're still complaining, even though we gave them even more. Why is that, right? Because you are dealing with the wrong customer base. And what I usually like to say is, I would rather deal with a few that pay a lot than a lot that pay a few. All right. And that's that's so honest. What you'll re what you'll recognize inside your service if you just boost your prices. All right. Now it's not just the concept of boosting the prices with inside the business. Of course, you want to be able to add value into your business. In order for me to increase my prices on any service or product, you guys have to know that you have to include more and more value into your product or service. What do I mean by that? Chick Fil A. I will give you an example. When everybody was doing rush hour, right? When everybody was doing rush hour during COVID 
and fast food places was running faster than ever, right? It's people in and out of fast food lines because that's pretty much all that was open then, right? What did Chick-fil-A did do different? Did anybody recognize exactly what Chick-fil-A did different? Did they did they did they dumb did they dumb down on customer service or did they up their game on customer service, right? And when customers, when I say customer service, I need you to realize that this is value. Service is value. All right. What 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 Chick-fil-A actually did is they upped their customer service. How did they up their customer service? They said, well, listen, we're having a line that's getting packed, right? We're having a line that's getting packed and it's getting overloaded. How will we be able to provide more value to the customer and get them in and out just as fast as we did at first? What did Chick-fil-A introduce inside their system? Now you have people that are coming up to your window, coming up to your car door before you even hit the uh, the uh, the speaker, right? Before you even hit that intercom, you have people from Chick-fil-A that are coming up. I don't got my mic, y'all. I don't got my mic. People trying to show out. But like I said, they increase their customer service. You have people coming up to the window. They're checking you. What does that do? That makes the process go faster. That makes more people want to come to Chick-fil-A. Right now, Chick Fil A has not boosted their prices. They are a fast food restaurant, but no matter what business we're talking about, as long as you add more value into that business, you try to ask yourself. What I try to tell people is: look, don't look at the number. All right, don't look at the numbers that you're trying to make. Look at the value that you are trying to provide to your customer. All right, when you always look at the value you're trying to provide to your customer, you cannot go wrong. Right? How is it? Because when a customer sees something that is more valuable than the money inside their pocket, they buy. All right? I hope y'all got that. All right? When a customer sees something that is more valuable than the money that's in their pocket, more valuable than the money that's in their pocket, that means they find this is more, uh, that they find this is more worth the actual cash that they have inside their pocket. People buy. Okay? So I need you to make sure that you try to add as much value inside your product or service or business or industry that you are in and i promise you you will not fail when it comes to your prices now going back on the customers right going back on the customers what really happens the effect that really happens when you up your prices is first of all you're going to work with more customers that you want to be able to work with you're not going to have a lot of issues of as much as you would with dealing with low tier customers, all right? You're not gonna have as much issues and you're gonna be working with fewer people than many, all right? You're gonna be working with fewer. Now, I know I know it sounds like you guys are like, okay, Kai, I'm, I'm trying to work with the whole world, right? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to help everybody. But the whole thing is, is everybody doesn't wanna help their self, all right? Everybody doesn't wanna help their self. And ultimately, when you double your prices, you get the actual people that are actually willing to do the work and really to, uh, willing to invest in their self, right? That's my whole thing. When people try to join, when people try to join my mentorship, of course, or anything like that, right? I set my prices high. Why do I set my prices high? I set my prices high because I want to target the people that actually want to be inside this business and actually want to take the position they're in and go to the next level. How am I gonna to get to those exact people if I'm only charging a set amount of price that anybody can buy from, right? Anybody can buy from a low price, no matter who they are, right? But see, ultimately, when I increase my prices, I'll get fewer people that pay a higher ticket price, so I'll still be getting as much, I'll put it like this. I know I'm constantly saying stuff inside the video, but I've heard some one person say this before, and it makes so much sense. It's very hard to get a billion dollars from one person, right? It's very hard to get a billion dollars from one person, but it's easy to get a dollar out of a billion people. All right? Now, see, the whole concept of that is, that's kind of like an old, old lingo, all right? That's kind of like an old saying, all right? Which, it works that way. It also works that way. You want to try to see as many as people as you can help, all right? I'm not saying limit the people that you are helping. I want you to help and solve as much, many as problems as you can for others. Ultimately, that's what determines your income to me, right? As you guys know, I say all the time that your income is determined by how many people you serve and how well you serve those people, all right? So if I'm that person that's able to serve a lot of people, then I'm ultimately able to make a lot of money, all right? 
but the video is mainly about doubling your prices. This year, we need to dumb down and double our prices. No matter what business or industry you are in, you have to know your value inside your industry. If you do not know your value inside your industry, nobody will, all right? If I did not know the value of my product or service or even myself, when I was a salesperson and I went to go knock on, uh, knock on doors every single day, I'm not selling the roofs. I wasn't selling the roofs at all. I was selling myself, right? I had to sell myself. All right, y'all, so the video cut out on us, uh, but I was finishing everything off pretty much anyway, all right? Uh, like I said, I pretty much was a salesperson. I had to sell myself, all right? Knock on each door and start a conversation from cold turkey. I didn't know them nothing, all right? And the whole concept of selling yourself is first of all believing the product that you are selling which was roofs at that time and i believe honestly we could have put on a good roof for them did a good job service everything like that but this year of 2022 and going on we need to be trying to figure out a way to double our prices if you do not if you feel like you do not have enough value inside of your product service industry whatever you are in then you need to find a way to add more value to that product or service that way you can increase and double your prices all right it's your boy rich secrets and i'll catch you guys next time all right